I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton for ABC 36 News, and today I'm joined by ABC News Chief Health and Medical Editor, Dr. Richard Besser. For years, we have been trolling the labels of our foods at the grocery store in order to cut that cholesterol and hopefully add a few years to the end of our life. But rumor has it that we don't need to be as focused on dietary cholesterol and labels may soon reflect that. Dr. Besser, thank you for joining me. And what are these label changes on the horizon and why? Well, the advisory committee to the Department of Agriculture is, is expected to recommend very shortly that cholesterol be taken off the list of, of, of uh, foods, of nutrients that we have to worry about. Uh, this would be a big change. Since 1961, we've been saying to people, watch the cholesterol that you eat. Our labels reflect that. They all list the cholesterol. But more and more science is saying that this, the cholesterol that we get from our diet is not a very big contributor to the cholesterol that we see in our blood, the cholesterol that is linked to heart disease. So it sounds like in this case it's family over food when it comes to our cholesterol. Why is the family influence so important? When, when, you, when you look at the cholesterol in, in, in the blood, it's a, it's ba the level that you'll see is, is really the result of several factors. Our bodies make cholesterol. We need cholesterol. It's, it's one of the things that, that, that is a factor in making hormones that, are, that, that signal so many processes in our bodies. It's what's used to help build the walls to all of our cells. So cholesterol is very important. So we're making cholesterol, and our body's also getting rid of cholesterol, and then we're taking a little bit in, in through our diet. If we're making more cholesterol than we're getting rid of, the level goes up, and that is what we think is, is the risk factor there for, for heart disease. And a lot of that is determined by genetics, by your family, uh, and is not very heavily influenced by what you eat. All right. Thank you once again, Dr. Besser. I guess for all of us, this means we can now sit down to our breakfast with a few eggs over the next few mornings. If you have any questions about your cholesterol, go see your primary care doctor and they can help guide you on to better health. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton for ABC 36 News.